Hey man, this is Andre Gabori from The Bulletproof Husband. I'm here with Clint. Hope all of you are doing well. Uh, we wanted to do another uh, success interview uh, with Clint, uh, who's been working with uh, The Bulletproof Husband for a few months now and has seen some significant success in rebuilding his marriage. And so, uh, yeah, I wanted to take a moment to uh, explore what that looks like for him, what are some of the barriers and challenges he was facing, and uh, definitely to understand where he's at today. So, Clint, how's it going? It's going good. Awesome, awesome. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, what, what, what was your marriage status when you, uh, when you uh, stumbled across the Bulletproof Husband? Uh, when I stumbled across the Bulletproof Husband, I, my wife had left me. She had, she had, uh, we had separated. She had uh, moved into a, her own place and... Mm -hmm. That's where we were at. Okay, okay. And uh, what was uh, what was the cause of that? What, what what did you attribute her moving out? Well, it 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 blindsided me for one thing. I, I was in complete shock, and you know, I I really I really didn't see it coming. And I I mean, I knew things in our our relationship had kind of gotten a little stale, you know, over the past mm -hmm. few months, but I didn't, uh, I just thought, you know, well, we're, the honeymoon's over, you know, and cause I've only, we've only been married a couple of years mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was, it was a shock to me. So when, uh, I, 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 I uh, when I asked her, she wouldn't, she wouldn't tell me why specifically why she was leaving. She, you know, she just said it was, you know, she had to work on herself, you know, she, uh -huh. things, things like that, you know, and in, in my mind, I, I automatically went to what did I do wrong? You know, is there another man or any, mm -hmm. you know, a million things was going through my mind, you know, and I was, I was not in a good place. Yeah, devastated, right? Because uh, it caught you off guard. And uh, that's the process that typically men go through, right? Where, you know, the wife is giving signals, the wife is giving signals, uh, we, you know, we ignore it, we ignore it. And then one day, uh, there's a slap in the face, which is in your case was, hey, I need space, I want to separate, I need to figure things out on my own. And uh, it's scary. And, uh, you know, what we tend to do as men is we then want to work on the marriage and we want to have her work on the marriage uh, with us, um, which makes it very difficult uh, because she thinks she's been working on the marriage for many, many years while leading up to um, the awakening that has you get into action. Okay. And, um, uh, you know, what was your thought process? What was, uh, what was your headspace? How did you stumble upon the Bulletproof Husband and... Uh, what had you um, engage in uh, a conversation with us? Uh, well, I mean, I stumbled upon y'all on on the internet because I was I was just looking for information, you know, to to anything I could look up to find to try to fix, you know, fix my problem, you know. I, and I come across several, and y'all y'all caught my eye because it had. Uh, to use without, you know, without your spouse being with you. Cause I, I, mm -hmm. I tried to talk to my, my wife and she wouldn't, she wouldn't talk about it. She wouldn't tell me why or give me any reasons whatsoever. So, you know, that's kind of what attracted me to y'all's spot. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and it's very typical, right? Because, um, we go against the grain. A lot of men say it takes two to tango and, um, uh, we, we have a fairly good understanding of the psychology that by the time you want to work on the marriage as a man, she's already tired and exhausted because she feels she's been working on it for so long. So um, it, it makes sense. And that, that's why we say that. Now, uh, the critical aspect of that, that, you know, I shared with you on our first call is there's really two components, right? Where men start to work on themselves, but then there's a second component, which is how do you work on the marriage without her? without making her feel like she needs to be involved in working on it? How do you show her the changes in a way that she believes it's long-term? Now, what had you trust the Bulletproof husband um, to actually work with us? Because, you know, there's a lot of scams out there. 
There's a lot of uh, um, companies, organizations taking advantage of people, and uh, a lot of men have been burnt. What was it that had you say, you know what? I trust these men, and uh, I wanna I wanna take action with them because what they're doing makes sense, and I think it will help me. What what had you hop over the fence? Well, uh, when I I started looking on the website, you know, it, everything that y'all are saying, it was stuff that I was going through, you know, stuff that I mean, it was like you're reading my story back to me, basically, you know, because everything that was, you know, and that kind of really I thought well they obviously get what I'm going through so you know, that's yeah where yeah and, and that's what we try to do right because um, we have a, a good understanding of, of what it takes to uh, recognize some of the barriers that men go through and you know one of the reasons why uh, John and I started the bulletproof husband is because we're tired of seeing men being in pain uh, pain in their eyes, hurting, and uh, being lost, confused, not knowing, not knowing what's next for them. They start to discover things about themselves. They recognize things and start to take responsibility, but there's no manual. There's no specific action steps that can be taken, and so we created that, and uh, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do that unless we really understand what are men going through, what are the what are the processes? Okay, um, what was your experience working with the Bulletproof Husband, right? So, you know, you joined. Uh, talk a little bit about your first few uh, weeks with us and uh, what were the challenges, the obstacles that you were facing as you were going through the manual and working and we were guiding you? Well, to be honest, it, it was different than I thought it would be. It was, uh, it was more working on myself making myself better than it was, you know, actually working on my marriage. But, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it, it was, it was a lot different than what I expected it to be mm -hmm. in that way. And as far as, you know, the, when I started, you know, reading the modules, going through the modules and, and stuff like that, it just, it made sense to me. You know, and I, you know, uh, Basically, everything that I was trying with my wife before I started uh, watching the modules was was wrong. I mean, it was it was it, it was pushing her away. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, they definitely the, helped. The trial and error. Yeah. Right. Trying to figure it out. Absolutely. And the funny thing is, as you were working on yourself, because the way the modules were created, you were actually working on the marriage without her involved. Uh, which is the cool thing because we look at it as okay we're working we're making shifts in ourselves but you're doing it in a way where you're indirectly impacting the relationship awesome awesome okay and um uh can you talk a little bit about uh where you are today what's the what was the success for you as it relates to uh going through the work saying that you know what andre i'm gonna commit to this i'm gonna do everything you you guys are saying and uh, let's see what happens. What what happened? What what, what were the what were the results that you experienced? Uh, well, I'll tell you. <laughs> My marriage before, even before we were having problems and kind of got distant, you know, it was good. I mean, you know, it, it was good, but it wasn't great. You know what I mean? It was, mm -hmm. and. My wife and I, my wife and I had both had been married before, and we both had kind of a mistrust of the opposite sex. I think you know, and that kind of mm -hmm. uh, it kind of we kind of kept each other at arm's length, you know, so to speak. You know, it was and we got along. We never argued or anything like that, but but we never really talked either. Mm -hmm. Really, really talked, you know, and when I started this program and started going through some of the things and started discovering things about myself, you know, I, I don't know. It made it easier for me to talk to her. It, it made it, 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 when I talked to her, it was more, I don't know. We had, we had a, seemed like we had a stronger connection, mm -hmm. you know, 
than we had before. And today it's, <clears throat> excuse me, today it's, I mean, it really, today it's better than it had, today it's better than it ever was, I think. Yeah, and, it, and you and you move back together, right? Oh, yeah, we're, we're together. And, yeah. you know, it's been great. You know, it's like a second honeymoon right now. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> awesome. And, yeah, communication is key. Uh, understanding that she manages the relationship, which includes communication. And uh, one, once, you know, once you, once you got that concept, you were able to, create the space for her. Um, you know, we talked about this, create the space for her to uh, express herself, express herself in the way where you don't take it personally, where you uh, become the bowl for her, the solid rock husband that you are and um, uh, enables her to uh, communicate with you with her directing of where the communication goes. And uh, it just makes, it does wonders. And um, now when she asked you to move back together what uh, what was the thought process going through your head how are you feeling when when she said you know what hey i see the changes i uh i i see that i, I trust that these are for long-term changes um what was it that was happening to you like how did you respond to that when she said you know what let's move back together i well i was excited you know i mean you know it I, words can't describe how excited I was because I I was I wasn't really I mean we were we had been talking through the through the whole through the process and you know and but she never really gave me the hint that she was ready and you know a couple you know a couple of circumstances happened and you know she stayed here at the house you know and I guess you know then she you know, eventually just stayed here for good. You know, she, she had a couple of problems at her place and she needed her air conditioner went out and she's like, well, can I stay with you? Stay with you? And I'm like, you know, sure. You know, and, and she just never left. <laughs> yeah. 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 But she literally told you let's move back together. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. she, yeah. So it, it wasn't just like a transition where she just um, ended up staying, but she actually had a conversation with you and said, you know what, it's time to move back together. Am I, that's correct, right? Yeah. Yes, that, that's right. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Fantastic. Well, uh, listen, Clint, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Um, one last question I want to ask you, what do you, what do you suggest to men who are, uh, who are in a place where you were? whether they're separated from their spouse or experiencing significant challenges, uh, maybe they've been threatened by divorce or separation. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you recommend to them to get over the fence and, and actually have them start to take action? Um, uh, what experiences or, or advice would you have for them? Well, my personal experience, I mean, like I said, everything that I was trying, everything that my brain told me, I should do was the exact opposite of what I should have done. Mm -hmm. And, and, and once I start started the program and, and understood more of the, the psychology, you know, the way women think versus the way men think, you, you know, and it, I would definitely recommend that they talk to the bulletproof husband. Cause I mean, it's, if you do the work, you'll get results. You, and you know, even if uh, it worked out for me and me and my wife are back, but even if it, if it doesn't work out with your wife, you're going to be a better man because of it. And yeah. And we say that all the time, right? Uh, the ultimate decision will be your wife's decision. Um, you will have the tools to create the changes that will create the biggest impact. And uh, you know, by the end of it, when you, you know, you're brushing your teeth at home and you look up in the mirror uh, and you ask yourself, did I do everything possible to, um, to be the best version of myself? Um, it, you'll be able to say, yes, I did. And um, the cool thing is that you can't lie to yourself in the mirror. The little voice in your head will always tell you if you're lying. And so, uh, you know, she would be stupid to leave you. And if she does leave you because, because she doesn't recognize or she doesn't uh, want to acknowledge the changes, um, you will feel 
more powerful, more confident, and you will really recognize the fact that it's her loss because now you are no longer the man that you were. And uh, that's very powerful. We say this to men as well. So thanks for, thanks for bringing that up because uh, it's very true. Okay, awesome. Cool. All right. Any other thoughts? Anything else that you want to uh, add? Uh, no, I, really, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I was able to use the tools and use the program and it's been a success for me. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. And you're still working with us, right? So you're still, oh, uh, oh, you recognize what it means to have men in your life who, uh, who tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear and uh, what it means to have that level of accountability. So awesome. All right, Clint. Well, thanks so much for sharing your experience. Really appreciate it. And uh, it's been an awesome journey and the journey continues. Uh, it's nonstop. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for taking the time and uh, letting the other men know what, what, what your experience is so that they can, uh, you know, hop over the fence and actually take the necessary actions. So thank you so much, Clint. Have an awesome day, okay? And then we'll speak soon. Thank you. Take care.